welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalia and I'm a holistic vocal coach, which means I help people to free their, helping their, freeing their voices. And also I am a professional crossover singer. So guys, this one was highly requested and you know, I'm listening to you because your wish is definitely my command. And this one is gonna be Regine Velasquez. Velasquez probably saying wrong but she's gonna sing shine so I know I'm gonna love it already because I heard her and she's an amazing singer so I can't wait to hear more of her but before we're gonna dive in did you like did you subscribe did you click the bell so you can get a notification every single time I'm uploading your request and also if you're singers this is the time to be part of my free seven-day vocal challenge all you're gonna do is go to my first link in the description bar below click it and insert your name in your email and I'll send it to you right away completely free and guys are you ready let's start reacting just like oh I'm just gonna sit down joy from home I like that dedicating to God, right? Shining on, all because of you. 
finish the song. Drop the mic, drop the mic. Ah, oh, you did it. That's beautiful, Luigi. This was unexpected version in high notes. Cool. I love it. I honestly, you know what I love the most about this performance? I felt, you know, I react to a lot of singers, right? I think she's, I'm not gonna say the best in terms of what I'm gonna say, but I'm saying she's one of the best singers that I saw that really connects to the text and so, it's almost a conversation. It's almost, she's like, it's a monologue. She said, says it in such a natural way. And I love how she's breathing, where it's like she's sitting, and she's sitting, you know, in her living room. I don't know where she's sitting from, but it's not like a stage. And you have to understand that now that we live in, in this virtual world where performances are transforming to virtual, you have to change the, you know, the bombastic moves and, and that the singing also needs to be different in that sense that it's not just about big voice. It's about connecting with the audience. And I feel with this song, especially with such a powerful message of shine and, and you know, you, you get that hope. I get my hope from God. I, I'm sure that's what she kind of meant as well. And also showing gratitude to all the essential workers that are part of the COVID-19. But it was just beautiful to see how she was so effortless and how she almost spoke the words. She barely sang, everything was very gentle. Everything was more in the head voice, very light, very gentle. She opened up in the middle, you saw that. She gave it a little taste and she was like, I don't, I don't need to just sing all this big, big, big notes. Because when you sing all the time big notes and high notes and belting, it's kind of defeating the purpose. You gotta be very careful. You don't wanna sing it all the time. You wanna do it two, three times max. And she perfectly chose where she's gonna do that. So it sounded beautifully. It sounded so organic. It sounded so, I almost, you know, I like, I just couldn't like stop looking at her and I felt her. I felt every word she was singing and everything she did, everything was so connected. And that's what we need more of these days, if you know what I mean. And I'll tell you, me too. I was performing, you know, I had all those performances and every performance is different. And as a good performer and singer, we should be able to read the audience, read the, um, read the energy in the room and really tell, okay, what they do need me more? How can I make them feel something? Because this is what a good singer should always ask himself. It's not about, okay, I'm gonna sing this perfectly. It's about saying, okay, I'm gonna set the mood here, right? And it's communicating, it's making the eye contact, right? Um, even if you don't really physically see it, but if you do a Zoom uh, performance or you see somebody in the comments on Facebook or YouTube and you really address that person, you make it more personal. You're not as bombastic. You're sitting down, you're, you're singing. Yeah, you can do those high notes, but it's not in, 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 in that big grandiose way, if you know what I mean. So again, this is a weird time we're living, but let me tell you, it's a huge opportunity because instead of flying to a specific place or, you know, traveling to any place you want to sing, now you can do it in the comfort of your home or a studio. Make sure you have a good followers. It doesn't have to be a lot, but people that actually love your music and find them and just sing to them, you know, and, and, and find a different connection with the audience. And it's a different way, but I feel it's going to be way more rewarded. And I have to tell you, a lot of my fellow singers, including myself, you know, people donating on you know, Venmo or, you know, um, there's different kind of website that you can um, be part of. And 
people just, you know, they really want to see you again and be successful. Um, and they know nothing, you know, your talent is like any other job. So um, that's just an idea for you, performance. Go ahead and go out there and do virtual performances on Facebook, on YouTube, whatever. And make sure when you sing, it's more personal. It's not just this stand up and bark and, you know, it's, an, it's not about you anymore, if you know what I mean. It's about serving. And when you put yourself out of the equation and you're really about serving and really connecting to the message, I mean, it's just, there's no better medicine than music. Don't you agree? I mean, just listening to her made my day. Honestly, I just feel like, you know, I just feel it. So I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it was smooth. It was connected, as I said. It was really done well in terms of going to the head voice, going to the chest, that belting, that high notes. I don't know the original songs. I can't really compare, um, but I love what she did with this song. It was really smartly arranged and done. And the choices she made were absolutely smart and professional. So I love that. Um, one thing I would say as a vocal coach, you know, if we're talking about how we can enhance and learn, maybe sometimes it would be better for us instead of, because sometimes we, as swingers, what we do when we're in a small room, and I know that I'm me too, I try to kind of hold myself sometimes instead of still directing the sound forward. I kind of like scooping the sound towards the end of the sentence. That's usually what happens. Um, to create a decrescendo, like going from a loud sound to a uh, um, quieter sound, actually, you have to keep that spin forward. You have to keep that direction forward and not kind of pull the sound and, and kind of close it. Actually, the contrary, you just have to go in there again and with the tension. If you want to go decrescendo, go decrescendo. But you get, your mind is enough, your body knows what to do. You put the command, your body will know what to do. But the better frequency, better sound, and also healthier sound will be to continue that, um, that motion of forwardness, right? Um, just, just, just as a thought. Uh, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I absolutely loved it. So thank you so much for your uh, suggestions. And if you have more, Keep them coming in the comment section below. And again, if you love this reaction and you want to hear more, you want to see more, and you want to be part of our family, go ahead and subscribe right now. It's free and we're growing every single day. So I would love to have you here. And also if you're singers, this is your time to be part of my free vocal challenge. All you're going to do, you remember, is go to the description bar below, click it, and you're going to get it into your inbox right away. So thank you guys. And with that, I'm going to leave you. Have an awesome rest of your day and keep on shining. <laughs>